Hi, I'm Silvio, and this is part 4 of Do It Yourself Acquire Styrofoam Cutler. Have you ever had the feeling that something is wrong? That something is missing? Well, that's exactly what I felt right after posting my last video. So, for a couple of very long minutes, I stared at both the old and the new version of the cutter. Then, bang! I realized it was so obvious and I was so stupid. Now, I have to take a step back and fix it before continuing. I'm sorry. Welcome to part 4 guys, so I need to correct something as I just told you and I'm sorry if I'm wasting some more of your time. So uh, what happened? I told you that uh, I uh, don't want any screw to be visible from the outside uh, with this new version of the uh, cutter. So, right as now no screws are visible from the outside let's uh, have a look to uh, the old uh, version uh, let's talk about this panel here it is in the back of course <laughs> you can see that it is uh, right in the back but here I have some screw and so this isn't very uh, well good looking and also from the down downside let me just adjust it a little bit here practically I ate this part because I have to use a very thin piece of uh, plywood and so uh, it tends to bend but uh, at the time I uh, thought uh, the, that this was a good solution, but in fact it isn't. It bends, uh, uh, it has uh, some screw here protruding, so I am not satisfied with it. So, uh, other problem, the old version has all the controls in the backs here. I cut always from the front side, and in the front side I had nothing there. You can see that I have nothing here. It was, uh, and it is, as this is actually still on duty, and it is mm, not very easy to reach every time from behind to uh, adjust the voltage here in order to get the wire the Nikon wire uh, more or less hot depending of the uh, thickness of the styrofoam then switch it on and off and having the power uh, source here coming directly from uh, the outside so this year I decided to have these two controls in the front there and I will add uh, in the near future the panel here for the two controls I will have the knob there to control the voltage then the on off switch but I don't want to have uh, cables uh, from the front side because if uh, I use the exact same configuration of this panel from the front side sorry I will also have the um, the power uh, source, uh, the cable, coming right there. So I will have the power right here and the cable right in the middle of my foot. Of my feet, sorry. So I don't want to have the power source uh, from the front side. And I don't want the uh, switch and the knob from the back side so i need to split them where do i put the uh, the knobs and the uh, switch here light in the middle but the power cable where it will be attached to the side no i have no space here to attach 
only unless I will uh, add some more uh, wood there and I don't want to add some more wood so the solution I thought right from the beginning and that's why I'm so stupid is to use this side to uh, have the power cable coming in but I've screwed this all together before making space making the hole for the uh, power connector and that's why I'm stupid because I always had in mind to add the uh, power uh, connector here right in um, the wood that is uh, that I've used to do the arcade section here then this year I also had the pedal switch that will help me cut the more accurate cuts <laughs> that will help me have more accurate cuts sorry this is the good sentence the right sentence uh, so now I need two power connector one for the power cable itself and the other one for the uh, pedal switch and I thought to have both them here to the back but they are missing now I will have to unscrew this part and add them I am sorry for that that's why I'm so obsessed right now I don't want to unscrew anything once it is fixed but I have to do it right now uh, and uh, so I will have to unscrew this section here not entirely I will maintain the base there I will maintain this support here I will maintain it I will just unscrew let me do right there I will just unscrew those screw here right in the border that will uh, help me detach the arcade section and I, I, st I will still have uh, uh, the uh, those that will guide me when I've finished and to uh, screw it back where it is now and also I will use this uh, other situation to add some more support for the arcade version here I, because I don't want to uh, move it it's just a little movement but if I can um, do something for it I will do something for it uh, let's just see where I have so here I have 9.5 centimeters here and 9.5 centimeters here so I will need to make uh, the two holes for both the connectors after 9.5 centimeter from each side okay so uh, here I have the middle so I don't think I will uh, have the connectors there because I will also have the 90 degree supports coming down here I will tend to approach as maximum as possible here and here uh, uh, just after 9.5 centimeters uh, what can I do for uh, the bending? I can add some uh, support uh, brackets and I will do uh, so if I have the space um, okay so nothing to worry about I will uh, just uh, need to unscrew something so let's go let's start uh, okay I don't need this but okay it is there the old version it is there uh, just a, as a reminder of how stupid I am so let's do it let's unscrew everything so uh, now I have it unscrewed let me let me just measure it here the pencil 
9.5 centimeters. Here, 9.5 centimeters from this side. Here, that's the space I have in between those two points to, to make uh, the holes for the uh, connectors. What will I use as connector? I know this box is continuing to have uh, some more items. I will use these connectors. The same I'm using for my street lamps, for the Christmas village, etc. etc. I will make the connection uh, with a female and a male connector. Right here, I will have on the um, on the wood. I will have the uh, female connector. Then from the outside, I will connect the power cable um, right there. And this will be uh, the uh, connecting system. I will use this here with this new version. I won't be using anymore this kind of connector because this will need to have two screws from the outside and I don't want any screws from the outside. Yes, I know I'm stupid, I'm obsessed, but it is as it is. So I will need to uh, have this connector there. I will need to screw. Uh, two holes, one for the the connector that will be attached to the power cable and the other one to the pedal switch. Uh, I've said 9.5 uh, uh, mm, centimeters. Uh, and I will be there with the 9.5 centimeters. I will be uh, here and here. So I've in the plain middle, I've also some more centimeters. I have, uh, I have, and I, obviously I don't want to miss with any of the screw holes I have here. So uh, I also have these uh, eight there, three centimeters there uh, to make the hole. So nine, here I will be to, Okay, the distance there in between those two screws here is four. I will be going uh, here to two here. Yes, and I will have a three centimeters there. I will also have a three centimeters in eight. Uh, yes, I will also have three centimeters in eight. So right in plain middle i think i will go with the connector uh, right there at 1.5 in plain middle so here i have one so here it is in the middle of the two screws at uh, two centimeters No, I went uh, two centimeters from here. Okay, with uh, some more uh, space. No, two centimeters from the ho hole here. So here it is two centimeters and I will go here. First hole here, same thing from this side because I need two holes obviously. So here I have Here I have two centimeters because they are four centimeters apart, the screws. So I will go here. So I will go here. Then I will go one point half centimeters there. I will have the two holes, one here and one there. Let's see. Okay. So let's check it once again. 1.5 there and 1.5 there. Uh, let's drill the holes. Then, first of 
first connector here okay you can see that it can't reach the outside okay I need to uh, countersink the hole in order to have um, the other section of the connector getting through the hood so I will countersink it if you want love look somewhere else heal for nothing just give it okay right there i have uh, some space now uh, just uh, just uh, a little um, half a millimeter uh, between uh, the male connector here and the uh, wood and it is uh, well uh, inserted so i think this is the right uh, position i need to have for uh, the connector now the other side let's check good now it is good let me just file a little now let me prepare the uh, cables the wires I will use with the connector then I will screw them some sort of screwing because these are not screwed I will push them as hard as I can then I will uh, need okay uh, I don't like this one I will replace it because I don't like uh, this uh, one okay I'm replacing both of them okay I'm replacing both of them with two identicals uh, uh, connectors here they are exactly the same okay two identical connectors new brand new connectors um, so I will uh, uh, push them as hard as I can but I will also need to add uh, some uh, glue to prevent them to move once they are connected uh, and I will make the uh, wires for uh, them right now let me get some wires i will measure some wires here red and uh, black wire Now I will need to screw them, to push them in the holes, right there. But I will also need some uh, glue. I can't use uh, um, uh, super glue uh, because it has no uh, rotation, it has no rotation resistance. I will use some uh, uh, epoxy uh, glue, some uh, two components uh, glue I've already used in past. This is uh, uh, some epoxy uh, glue. I just hide the, the, the brand there. So I will prepare uh, two 
two times the uh, mixture because simply because I want to have I want I don't want to risk to have the mixture uh, cured before I ended uh, the two assembling so I will use two time it oops there uh, I don't need too much of it but I will do it anywhere there if you want a problem I give you a problem all right Now, let me finish the cables before getting, so uh, let's have a check to this. We have a positive uh, connector here, I hope you can see, plus, minus, positive, negative. I generally use red for positive, uh, black for negative, red plus, uh, black minus. So let's do it. I don't need this, it's too long. Black, red. I'm feeling good, rule every party. See how I shine when I'm alone, nothing can stop me. You should go out, be someone else, someone who gets you. Don't stick around. Let's give some time to the glue for adding a little bit. Uh, let's talk about the possibility of having some sort of support here. Okay. Here. Now. I have the connectors at uh, 10 centimeters. The last one is at 11.5 and also there 11.5. So at until 11.5 I cannot add anything. I cannot add anything right here. I have some space. Uh, I have some space. Okay. Yes, I have some space to add some support. Let's talk about some support I would like to add in the middle. I would like to add this 90 degree support bracket there that I would like to have right there. But you can see that I will have difficulties to screw it there. I can't do it right there. The only way I have to do it is to add it there. But I don't think it will be suitable. Let's check it. It is, huh. I don't know, because uh, uh, here I will have difficulties screwing it down. Here too, because I don't have access to anything. Uh, I can't place it right there, like this. It won't be good. Mm, the only place I have is here, in the middle right there but let me just remind you that I will also have this going right there I don't know if I need to go as deep as this yes maybe I will have some space I just remember you that this will uh, rotate here and there but I will, I don't think it will be in contact there. So, uh, 
so 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 okay I just need some measuring there okay I'm pretty wild I don't do monogamy Check if the glue has hardened. I don't want it. Yes, this much more. This one, yes, it's not more sticking my finger. Yes, good. So it's time to re screw it where it belongs. Good, done, more stable, much more stable. Let me just change the uh, battery and I will be back and also clean a little bit and I will be back to you. See you in a few moments. A little of cleaning and now everything is here. Let me show you just from this side. The wires are here, the two uh, mounting uh, brackets are there and the glue as well hardened so this is very stable right now from this side i have the two connectors there one and two uh, very well fixed let me just use one male connector to check them here we go yes and i have space so that means that it is uh, very well inserted there and here too i have some space so it is very well inserted one will be used to uh, bring uh, uh, power to the uh, uh, cutter and the other one will be used for the pedal switch the foot switch um now oh yes of course here it is much more stable you can see yes if i apply, apply a very high pressure it tends to move a little bit but now it is uh, very very stable and that's that what was what i needed so i've uh, correct uh, two things my mistake about the two connectors there and the fact that I was missing uh, some support, some vertical support for the arcade section here. Let's continue. I need to fix the 90 degree supports for the uh, Nichrome uh, wire right there. So I will need to make some holes here before getting everything in place uh, more than one hole so one hole for the uh, main connection one hole that will be the pivot center there that will allow me to have it uh, fixed and the second one to uh, to uh, make it possible to um, rotate the support but also to fix it uh, st uh, steadily in, uh, where it needs to be uh, fixed so let's start by making uh, two holes here first all i will make it right there then i will uh, check everything maybe i will have to enlarge a little bit uh, this hole here because i don't think that's a an m5 hole i will use m5 screw so here we go it needs uh, some more enlarging but let's start let's measure here from the from the uh, main sofa from the main border here uh, to the own here i have 1.5 uh, 
around 1.5 uh, centimeters. So let's say I will mark here two centimeters from the from the uh, end there. Let me just take a marker. Yes, this one. And I will need it to be at two centimeters. Two centimeters there. Okay, so let me mark it there at two centimeters. Uh, I can't use this marker. Sorry, I am bringing some other marker. This one, I think it will be good. Let me check with this one. Yes, there. I will need to have the first all there. So I will proceed step by step. it right in the middle let's have right there okay I think we are good let's check if I can use another type of screw even this one yes Okay, but I need to enlarge this old ear. If you want a problem, I give you a problem, all right. Now let's check everything. Mistake. All right. And I'm true, I think. Yes, I'm true. Okay, there. Right here. Now, let's add some washers from this side. All right, I need good a little washer. from this side if you want love, just give it up. let me just add some more washer there uh, one more washer I need some um, some nut I'm back I'm back sorry I forgot to bring some nuts and some uh, and some uh, tools for screwing every uh, nut so let's just go this way and let me check this one was for there 
Now, uh, M5, I was using this M5. Let's check for some M5. Nuts there. I will use two type of nuts if I can find them. They are mixed here. So this is M5 by sure. Yes, first one is here. Then I will use another type of M5. This is M7. This is M5, I think. Yes, this is M5. So, first nut there. Oops, my phone has a message there. And then I will use, I will use, I think this one. Yes, correct. In order to fix it there. This one is not very well suited. This one. Okay. And then it tends to get everywhere, so I don't need it to be precise. Then I will add another nut there. It is an auto blocking nut. there and it can rotate but this is because this is just a simple pivot and you can see that I've done correctly the hole there I have done the correct uh, my notch as it can rotate easily <laughs> 180 degrees without touching the borders of the of the notch there perfectly done this time yeah one point for me um, <laughs> at least the one thing that has come perfectly so the difference between a uh, nut and uh, auto blocking nut i will use some more bigger uh, nuts to show you this case here this is a simple nut that with the rotation if you can't uh, if you don't uh, fix it uh, together with the rotation it tends to uh, unscrew itself but after the first uh, nut here you can add this second type of uh, nut there that has uh, some plastic inside i don't know if you can see it right there you can see that inside uh, you have uh, some sort of uh, grayish plastic this one had uh, black uh, plastics, but this one is uh, um, grayish. So this prevent it from rotating when it ro when everything rotates. So it prevent also the system to unscrew to an. Uh, and not sorry for the term you can see that when I rotate the first one stay there in place and sometimes it rotates but the, the second one rotate and get it where it needs to be blocking everything so the system is very well uh, suited for not having the mm, system 
dismantling, sun, dismantling suddenly because uh, of the losing of the uh, nuts there. And I don't even have to cut the, uh, the screw there because it just protrudes for 2 millimeters, 3 millimeters max, and it isn't uh, uh, unpleasant to see. Now, I've done the pivot there, but sorry. there and the cables here but I have to add a second uh, a second screw there but I need to be able to use my ends this one this screw here uh, doesn't need any uh, more adjustments so once I've uh, fix it up once I screw them together with my tools I don't have to use any more tools but here imagine the same screw there each time I have to move the position to get a different angle than 90 degrees uh, I will have to use some tools I don't know I don't want to use some tools I could have used some sort of this handle here that I will use in just a few minutes or hours or days or months, I don't know yet, to do some other things. I would have been used, but this means that I will have to go perfectly there and I, I don't know, I, I didn't like this system. So what will I use? I will use some M5 uh, threaded road there. This is an M5 threaded road there. Uh, let me just show you with uh, this uh, nut there that, he, that this is an M5 threaded road. The other side. Okay, perfectly there. I will use this one right there you can see that I can get through but I will need some smart nut I will not use this nut here because with my bare end it won't be easy to uh, screw both sides so what will I do firstly obviously I will need to uh, drill a hole in there so now I will dismantle uh, in just a few seconds then then finally I will use the most anticipated thing I think oops these are glued together sorry I will use the chocolate mold there and I will use also some polyurethanic resin this is mostly like the resin inside here. This is epoxy glue. This is epoxy glue. So this is a, not uh, an epoxy uh, resin, a type of epoxy resin, B component epoxy resin. Epoxy, epoxy, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. And, but this one is made from, from two components, A and B but is a polyurethanic resin, some sort of polyurethanic uh, glue. Mix it together, here you can see that this kind of glue is very transparent. It's crystal transparent, you can see through it and the plate is still visible. But this kind of uh, polyurethanic resin is grayish, it's not crystal clear. So I don't like having a nut, a nuts or knob uh, very, uh, very grayish. So I will also use this powder here, very dental powder. <laughs> if you have it in your hand, it will make a mess all around. It is a black pigment, use it for any kind of things you want. And I will mix component A, component B, 
sorry, A, B, and then some uh, uh, black pigment in order to get uh, some black knot. But the knot will have the form of the chocolate mold there. I will insert the M5 longest knot I have found that is well suited for this and I will place it right in the middle there. I will use some uh, tools to get it in place in plain middle I think right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it let me just no not like this maybe bringing bringing it there okay no anyway uh, what I was trying to show you is that once the nut is in there it protrudes just a little bit from the uh, eight of the uh, chocolate mold there sorry a little difficult to uh, place it there but I will show you I will place then I will pour the uh, polyuretanic uh, resin in there once it is full I will wait for the uh, resin to uh, harden to cure around 10 15 maximum half an hour then I will have some nuts some knob some nuts some uh, and made uh, knob or nuts uh, very well suited for the end adjustments and I will show you. Uh, now let's just uh, uh, finish with the holes uh, inside then inside the uh, 90 degrees supports then I will prepare the scene with some paper and everything else because I don't want a mess around here so uh, let's continue so let's continue with uh, uh, everything else so I've explained for the first time the reason of the <laughs> chocolate mold. The big secret is now revealed. Uh, let's do everything. And while the uh, resin will be, uh, will be curing, I will cut the appropriate length of this uh, threaded rod there, M5 threaded rod. So, here I have everything. Now let me just mark this time from this side because I am right there and I need to check. Let me just adjust a little bit there. I will have in plain middle there. There. I will do the same type of hole I've just made, the M5 hole, for the extra uh, threaded rod I will use. This one is good too, I think. Let me use the threaded rod there. Okay, the threaded rod is, is true. Now, I need some more holes. Obviously, I will have the wire here inserted there in the center. Then I will have it coming through there and inside once again here the center. And I will also have um, to have the wires not uh, further than this all because otherwise I will have the screws in the middle. So I will have to make a hole this time, I think right there. And the last section of the wire will be outside in the groove of the uh, support there. 
because otherwise I will have a problems inside. And just remember that, that just one wire will be inserted because the other one will be connected to the other end of the nichrome wire. So now, uh, what will I need? This is there, this is there. Let me bring the marker. Let's say this is uh, from the other side. Let's get uh, let's get it from this side. I think yes, ninety degrees coming out. Ninety degrees there. There. So one more hole here. I will have some margin there. Okay. I went through even if I don't needed it because I wanted a it to be accessible from this side and from the other side so once the wire will be right there I will try to pick it and pull it uh, out now before uh, getting it over with this part and reassembling it let's just pass the uh, wire inside <laughs> I just forgot another hole there. I don't want the wire to come to come da to come out from here. I just thought about it while I was inserting the wire inside. Uh, I want it to come out uh, somewhere here, so uh, I will uh, probably need another hole. Let me use this wire here. There. The cable is here, the wire is here. I know it's too long, but I don't care right now. Now, the other side, the other side, same thing with the other side. <laughs> Done. It's time to get serious with the, the um, chocolate mold. Some pose here. Five seconds. Thanks. Welcome to the other side of the table, guys. So here I have all I will need to make this part here. I will have not enough time to do everything because once the component A and B. Uh, will be a mixed they tend to start hardening to cure very fast so 
uh, let's start with some uh, plastic glass here I will have marked them like that this is the mix this is A this is B okay so the mix the mix will be one to one uh, one part of component A and one part of component B so let's do everything by the book let's mark uh, I will need to have four knob there so I will probably go with uh, three centimeters right there and uh, let's hope that it will be enough so pouring that inside let me check let me do a smart thing so uh, let me first do a, a be back soon so let me be a little smart for uh, this uh, time if I can here I marked this level with some water inside okay this is I think a three centimeters of water let's check how many chocolate molds I will fill with this amount there so let's check one two not right two three four okay too much but I will be able to fill uh, at least four uh, four uh, chocolate mold with this so let me just remove some of this water because I have too much of it okay let me just empty this be back soon guys here I am again so uh, <coughs> I've just checked with you that with a three centimeters of uh, water I will be able to fill more than four chocolate mold there so water is not as dense as resin so maybe I will be uh, not three centimeters but three centimeters all so if I mark there 1.5 centimeters each <coughs> sorry guys component A and component B 1.5 centimeters there let's say uh, first second third fourth first second third fourth there 1.5 centimeters filling component 8 and component B with 1.5 centimeters of uh, component I will be able to fill almost not almost more than four knots and I will come to that in just a few seconds now let me prepare the mold there I will be using one, two, three, and four. This, and I will hope that they will stay there in place. Okay. There. 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 And there now let me just 
have my gloves on because I don't want the pigment to go everywhere especially on my hands so this is the mixture so I will use a little bit of uh, the pigment directly in the plastic glass that has marked that is marked as mix okay more than enough I knew this would happen Okay Done Let me just remove the gloves Right now okay this is the glass with the mix let's add no okay i was saying let's have component a You can see the difference in colors almost clear uh, very brownish very uh, dark yellow I don't think tea color <laughs> or wash it uh, coffee I don't know if you what you prefer once mixed uh, the darkest one tend to become clear so that's why I th told you that it will be some uh, grayish mixture now let's pour only for now the component A inside the mixture there okay component A is done let's mix together For now it's done I will need to be at uh, table level so I will sit down let me just uh, place the camera um, where you will be able to see everything correctly while I'm doing it be, um, from this side I think and so what I will do after <laughs> repositioning the camera I will take the component B uh, pour it into the mix uh, uh, glass there uh, have uh, some minutes to uh, mix everything together then I will start pouring the uh, mix into the uh, chocolate mold uh, so uh, I don't know if I will be if you will be able to hear me anyway it will have surely a difference in uh, sound let me just place the camera BRB so guys let me just finish the job let me just finish it right there simple mix there let me just quickly add the component B and here I have component B there maybe it's better if I place it there 
and I mix there. So component B right here. Let me pour it there. And once it is poured, I don't have too much time. So let's start the mixing together for a little while. Quickly, no more than a minute. Because it already started to cure, to harden. I just want to remove any possible bubbles inside. Okay, I think it's good. Let's start pouring inside. Good. This one too. Three. Okay, some more here. All right, good. I have uh, some more resin inside. Let me check if I can do another one very quickly because it's already hardening. Not in the middle, right there. Okay, good. I still have some uh, resin ready there, but I don't, uh, I won't use it. So let me just remove some of this mess. Okay. Let me check when it starts to harden. I don't think it will be more than 10 minutes. Yes, I don't have enough for another one. So one, two, three, four, and five will be what I uh, have done uh, until now. Uh, okay, so now let it uh, harden a little bit. I don't think no more than half an hour. Let me check with the phone if I can find my phone. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, 12 past 5 uh, p.m. So I will see you when everything is uh, cured. Let me check here. Yes, you can see that it has already started curing because I can't get the... Here, it is where it's blocked inside there. So it has started and it is somehow hot here. It has already started to, cu to cure. Uh, let's uh, just uh, wait for some minutes, maybe 30 minutes max. I will be back in a few moments. I think it's done. Yes, I think it's done. Let me check. It's uh, 49 past 5, so uh, 37 minutes after the pouring let me just 
uh, place the phone there. So uh, s 37 minutes. Let's check everything. Here we go. First one. Okay, I still need to get through there. Someone aren't perfectly in the middle, but I don't care. This one is perfect. You can see that it is done. This one too. I will just need to go through. Fourth one there. Perfect. This one too is perfect. Okay. And fifth one there. I need to go through it and you have seen that it doesn't stock to the mold. Uh, let me just bring everything to the other side. Everyone. And oops, I haven't cleaned there. Sorry. Let me just uh, quickly check with an M5 there what I can do. So. Let me just have two of them. This one is not in the middle, I'm sorry. But it is uh, usable anyway. Let me just have those two there. Okay, let me just have those two. And let me bring the threaded rod there. Let's say I have 1.5 centimeters then 2 centimeters 20 by 20 3.5 centimeters then i will have the length there i will have uh, 3.5 plus 2 5.5 plus 2 uh, 7.5 let's say we are going we are going uh, plus some washers 9 Let's go nine here. Change of plan. Okay, let me check if it works. Okay. Yes, it works. Now, let's have it true. Okay, I will still be able to slide it there, this side and the other side there. Okay, you see that I will be able to slide. This is good enough, I think. Let me just add a couple of washer. Let's see if this is enough from this side. No too little for this side but it will be enough for this side so I will go through here there and from the other side too let me just take the washer some more washers here we go, a wider one, this one is good, so I will, uh, maybe someone, maybe this one, uh, 
Okay. No, too big. Too big. Too big, too big, too big, too big, too big. Yeah. This one was good. Okay. From the other side, the other not there. And I will do the same thing I just did from the other side. Okay. And once it is done, it is done. So each time I need to make some angle, I will angle it and I will tighten the two sides there. And done. Okay. So maybe it is a little too long. almost three two and a half two and a half one here and one there Okay, fix it there. I need it there. Fix it there. No way to move it. Okay, it will be there. So yes, it tends to bend a little bit, but <laughs> it's come. The angle will be done and the cutting will be done also. So very useful to have this kind of uh, knob there of uh, nuts to done like this. So the secret is revealed and now you know how to make some uh, chocolate molding uh, nuts there. And they will tend to uh, harden a little more in the next hours, not uh, after four hours, but now they are plain solid the one they are plain solid and this was a good way to show you some new technique <coughs> so let me just uh, uh, remove everything let me just uh, make uh, some uh, space there let me just do some cleaning then I will see if I have some time to start doing the electrical that will be the last thing before having it ready to work i think with this one i won't be able to show you but with this one yes so almost uh, um, 23.5 centimeters and here at the end we have 23.5 centimeters i don't know if you can see it right there right there i have almost 23.5 centimeters and here at the beginning i have 23.5 centimeters yes i have exactly the same thing so 23.5 centimeters here in the middle i have 23.5 centimeters and here at the end i have 23.5 centimeters so perfectly at 90 degrees where i wanted it to be 90 degrees here for the first time what i will need to do the hole obviously we need to get through the electricals down then a tensioner here for the mm, for the nichrome wire the tensioner uh, will be nothing else than uh, a spring i think this one or maybe i will reuse the same spring i've used there 
uh, with some movable spring but the and I will also use uh, this bracket here positioned I don't know position it right there because I will need this I will use this system there with the hole there and etc and everything else to get it more as vertical as possible okay as at 9 degrees because I risk to have the um, the necron wire coming from down below that uh, will not be at 90 degrees with the uh, um, support uh, um, with the 90 degree support here sorry for the um, <laughs> for sorry for the sentence there um, so I will use this system to push or to push forward or to mm, f pull back uh, in order to have the uh, Nikon wire perfectly at 90 degrees there uh, I don't know if I will go with this one because I don't have a way to check it but uh, let me do uh, something before so I will have uh, the Nichrome coming out from this hole here and getting down it and this will help me uh, making it perfectly at 90 degrees I will have some system there maybe like that that will be fixed I don't know yet but I just uh, tried with this and I think it will be good this way okay so I will use this bracket here anyway uh, let me just do some uh, cleaning there uh, let me just do some cleaning then I will be uh, back to you obviously you have already understood that I won't be able to finish as I said last time in four parts it took me some more time to correct the error I made last time so I will uh, absolutely need a part 5 but I swear I swear no I don't swear because I don't like to swear but it will n absolutely be the last part next part next week uh, let's just have for example the hole for the for the hot wire and nichrome here yeah, for the nichrome wire there then i will use everything else if i'm going this way right there right in the middle there so let me just check this time this one uh, i need an eraser Sorry guys, I need an eraser, an eraser, an eraser. Here. Let me go with the eraser. And here again. So let's have it done again properly. Okay. There let me measure this time here 46.5 almost 46.5 and here almost 46.5 so here we go there is the limit if i would like to be precisely at 90 degrees there let me measure another distance there let me measure here 33.5 there and from here to there I have 29.5 
29.5 it is 14.75 14 and 14, 28, 75 and 75, uh, yes, 14.75 centimeters from, sorry, 14.75 centimeters will be, okay, I will be in the middle there at 14.75, 14.75. 14. Point, almost there. There I will consider the middle right here. So fourteen point seventy five uh, here fourteen point seventy five. But I don't know to be precisely there with the hole. I will need to go a little further. I will need to go a little further, let's say one centimeters. Let's say one centimeters in order to have this bracket here pushed forward a little bit if I need it to push it further a little bit, I will have the nichrome there in order to have it perpendicular at 90 degrees with it if I need it, I will push or towards or backwards a little bit if I need it precisely at 90 degrees, so I will go 1 centimeters or a little more, let's say 1.5 centimeters there right now okay I will have the central hole for the nichrome wire there okay uh, let's have the hole there and everything else in place Now I will go with the washer right there and this will prevent, uh, the washer will prevent uh, the uh, Nikon wire to burn the, um, the hood around the hole there if in some times it will go there. I have the borders, the inside borders of the um, of the wa washer that are narrower than the holes here, than the big hole there. Maybe I could go further, a little more further, uh, but it, I think it will be enough like this. Okay, I will need to add some paper inside because I don't want the glue to get down super glue there okay Okay, super glue is there. I am human, I am certain of that. 
almost certain. So by definition, I am entitled to errors, but I must also be able to correct myself. And it is precisely what I try to do. I never hide when I make mistakes. It is simply useless. And I've always been transparent in all the videos I've posted on this channel, for better or for worse. <laughs> At least the secret of the mold for chocolates is finally revealed. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.